This is a uh, back out a little. So this assembly video for a Dell 1420. Uh, we'll start with the back plastics, moving the battery in each panel in order. Uh, screws for the hard drive, screws for each access panel. Hard drive on this model appears to pull straight out. And we can set that off to the side. CD ROM drive, single screw here. Drive slides out to the left. with the other panels. Dealing the memory modules, the modem card. One reveals the processor in case you just wanted to change that. The one in this case is a 2.0800 bus, which I believe is pretty standard for these. Um, it should accept anything similar that's also 800 bus. I do not believe this will take a 1066 bus processor, but that still leaves you choices up uh, from the 2.0 all the way to a 2.6 um, in the Intel Core 2 Duo line. Um, Continue with the kick panel here that will come up off the top above the screen. These are shorter screws than the rest. Um, if you're using the screw mat process, you can set it up here geographically oriented to where the screw came from. Unless your memory is just that good where you can follow where all of them are. Not needing such a mnemonic device. No screws there. Um, so from this point we can decide whether we want to walk on the top plastics or whether we want to continue on the bottom. In this case um, I think it's probably more beneficial to work from the top side. Um, this is the red model. And it's a lot of the claim to fame on these. Uh, there's not too many colored laptops anymore. It's like cars, they're all shades of gray. Gently pry at the corners, work your way across. That's free. Keyboard screws, two in the upper end. And kind of wiggle it to break it free. This is a two piece slide connector, but it still should. The blue edge flips upward, and then this ribbon cable will wiggle loose. You can set that aside. All right. Um, next, we can yank the screen, I suppose. Um, there'll be one screw in the back and one screw at the bottom. Uh, the wires that hold it are here, which is the main data cable. And then there's some antennas here. In order to get some of these, we'll have to loosen this screw. And the board that has the buttons slides in place and lifts out. Um, just so I don't lose this, I often will stick it back here at this location where it came from just so we know where it is. This board can dangle free as long as you're careful about the ribbon cable. Um, so we have that loose. 
this loose. Uh, the antenna is connectorized. In order to stop from breaking these, you can take a blade screwdriver and as you twist it back and forth, gently pry the screwdriver and it should hopefully pop off without taking the without taking the socket with it. That's another thing that's fragile in these units. Is that connector?